What's up guys, this is John from Yard Rescue. Welcome to part two of this extreme cleanup transformation. Today, we are cleaning the remaining front and side of this extremely overgrown property for the family of this deceased loved one. I was told that a relative was coming by to take care of this property, but as you can see, it's been a while. So, we are going to help them out. If you didn't see part one yet, check out the link above where we cut down some tall grass, did a little bit of edging and some shoveling to uncover a hidden cement curb along the fence. Later in this video, there's a sneak peek to part three coming out next week. Thanks for watching and enjoy. I almost forgot. I had the opportunity to talk with the neighbor across the street. He was a lovely elderly gentleman and he had a wonderful laugh. I'll let you get back and make a lot of more Lord noise. <laughs> I'll let you know that you had a break and the noise settled down. I'll let you get back and make a lot of more noise. <laughs>
Hi, how are you? I'm doing super fantastic. Good. What can I do for you? Well, I saw you were talking with the lawnmowers across the street. Oh, with the, the irrigation guys? And uh, I didn't have time to, yesterday to talk to you for a couple of minutes. Uh, has the house got sold yet, or do you know what's going on? As you know, probably the, the homeowner passed away. Yeah, many years ago. And, yeah. and the family has been fighting who gets or what. And I thought maybe they'd finally agreed on, on doing something. More like uh, what happened was I was contacted you yeah. Know, by, by the person that's uh, taking charge of this place. But uh, there was not enough communication within the family within that, that week that the city gave them oh. to, to get stuff done. And uh, ah. so the city had to step in and uh, that's why I'm here. Because the city stepped in and said, hey, this really needs to get done. It's going to be a fire hazard. And yeah, so that's what we're working on. So the city is paying you or... The city is going to charge yeah. them that. Yeah, the city's going to charge them. Yeah. I just didn't know if you had any information of what was going on or not, and you do. That's that's all so, I know. Yep. Hey, at least but, now I know what you know because I keep an eye on yeah. on this. So I look at it. I don't come over all the time to take a yeah. look, but yeah. I know you can't get around to find out if there's somebody broken in or what. Right. I'm just. I was told that there was uh, possibly some someone staying here that wasn't supposed to be on the property. So I'm, I'm just trying to keep my eye open for if there's any... While you're working, once you're finished, you don't come back to check every day. Oh, no. No. No, just while I'm here. But, uh, so I'll, I'll be working it. I'll be working here on this place for until the end of next week. I do this on my free time. So you work someplace else. I, I work, well, I have my own lawn care business, but I do this. In other words, kind of yeah, I, I've got four right. hours, I can go over here and do this job, right? or this job, right. that's uh -huh. like them with me. I do this for the city on the side, and then sometimes, you know, and then I'll, I'll do free work for people too. So, I'll let you now that you have a break, and the noise settled down. I'll let you get back and make a lot of more oh, noise. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'll be making lots of noise. This... Now, are you going to work tomorrow on Saturday and no. Sunday? No, I don't work Sundays. Sometimes I have to work Saturdays, but I, I don't work Sundays ever. No. Good. I like to see people taking off both Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Well, I... Especially Sunday. Yeah. Well, Sunday, you know, we, we go to church on Sunday and we believe in keeping the Sabbath day. Yeah, so, that's all you need to say. I do the same thing. Well, Saturday is for family. We do family stuff on Saturday. And a yeah. little bit on Sunday, too. You know, we do family stuff on Sunday and Well, Saturday. I know. After church, yeah, you're still giving the man upstairs his day that he should have. Yeah. So, yeah. with that, I don't hear it started. You better get that thing started. <laughs> Take care. What was your name? Yeah, I'm John. John? Yep. I find more Johns and Jameses. <laughs> Crazy, huh? So, you take care. You too. And yes, I know this is a rose, but 
I, I know we don't use hedge trimmers on roses. I know it's a big no-no, but this rose wasn't cared for. Uh, trying to get it ready to sell, it's, it's not a priority for the city. It's not a priority for the people who are in charge of this place now. There's something going down behind us here. We got some cops over here, some police, there's more police over there. Oh my gosh, there's one, two, three city police, I think. So what I saw, like maybe 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago, was there's a guy walking over here and he had, it looked like a pump shotgun in his hand. I didn't think much of it. I saw him, but I didn't think a whole lot of it. Because there's a yard sale over here, so I thought he bought that from a yard sale. But he didn't come from a yard sale. <laughs> he was just walking along the street. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think, I think everything's fine. If we hear shots, then maybe not everything's fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if I shared this yet, but I cut myself with this thing. I cut these two fingers, I cut the tips off a year ago, right through here. And uh, I was just trimming away, and all of a sudden, uh, it like slipped or something in my hand, and my, I tried to catch it, and just like that. Almost <laughs> My finger was so close to the trigger. Oh my gosh, PTSD. Whew. So, <laughs> that's why I have Kevlar gloves now. Right, I'll show you guys my fingers. Not sure if you'll be able to see them very well. They healed up pretty good. But, <clears throat> so, this one and this one got cut right across the top, both of them and they were just held on by just a tiny bit of skin right here and right here. So the whole thing was open, flapped open, and there was, I mean, this thing cut right through the bone. So the tip of the bone was cut off, and anyways, they sewed it back on, uh, and my beautiful, wonderful wife, even though we have two kids, she, uh, she came to work with me, and she, and she took care of my clients for me. I drove the truck and trailer, and she did all the work for, for a full month um, before I could kind of do a one-handed slash two-handed, but mainly one-handed thing with the weed eater and the and the and the mowers. <sighs> so uh, yeah, that sucked, guys. That was the most pain I've ever been through. So I don't recommend it. have massive thorns on them. That's an inch and a half.
dare we venture. It's definitely growing up against the house, so we're gonna have to attack that. We got a grapevine. I think that's an apple tree. There's the blackberries I told you guys about. Oh, does the property go back? Oh no, guys. Oh, no way, guys. So somebody was squatting. This property has not been taken care of. 